Hey guys, Chris back, Ironhead Garage. Hey Andy from Andy's Doghouse sent me a shop sticker. Check it out. Andy's Doghouse on YouTube. Pretty cool. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. He was sent me a little personal note. It says, hey brother, from my shop to yours, it's a pleasure knowing you. Friends forever, Andy. Hey, you got that right, buddy. I sure appreciate that shop sticker. So I've been over here doing the alignment on this 55. They got me a string around the spring, tied it on there and drug it out around the back wheel just till it touched the sidewall of that tire. Drug it out all the way. I did this on my Chevy truck and it came out like a 16th from perfect. So I measured from the rim here to the string, the outside string is three and five eighths. I did the same thing back there. Then I hooked the tape measure on the front of the rim. Over here to the outside rim, it was uh, 62 and five eighths, I believe it was. 67 and five eighths. So I did that in the back. Measure the back, through the back. 67 and five eighths. So now I got three wheels that are true to each other and when I get this all lined up I'll adjust my tie rod and I'll tow this in a sixteenth so your car don't wander down the road that's why they tow it in if you, if you run just true your car will grab the grooves of the road and wander around on the highway so you want to tow it in a little bit a sixteenth so I adjusted my Steering box got it all greased up and back on here new gasket in it full of wheel bearing grease So I adjusted that to center and When I order this drag link they have a few standard drag links The one that uh, I thought would work the close was the 34 inch total drag link That's from center of Heim to center of Heim joint over there the guy said it would work it'd be really close, but so on your heim joint you have a inch and five eighths of threads so we set this ruler at an inch and five eighths you can see I only get a half inch of threads in there so that's not very good so I had to order a custom cut drag link I ordered a 35 and a half inch total drag link that's from eye to eye so it will come with a 32 inch, 32 and a half inch sleeve. Now I'll get probably three quarters or seven eighths of threads into my drag link. And that's way better. I did order it already. I got it outside, painted up. So as soon as that dries, I'm going to put it on here. So I need to weld on that Z bar a little bit. So maybe we'll do that. We'll see how that goes. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys. Well, got the welder going and uh, welded that hole up solid. Center punched it in the center so I could start drilling it out. Welded it kind of fat so it was uh, beaded up on here. Then I, I grounded it smooth on the belt sander. I welded the inside of those arms there give it a little extra strength and weld it there so it's be a lot stronger I hit it with the file and the sandpaper sand it up and uh, put some paint on it and then we get to drill in that hole get it the right size for this clutch rod that'll make it a lot better all right guys get on it all right guys so I got the hole all drilled 5 sixteenths I like to just start it out with an eighth and then just step up every size I've had a lot of trouble over the years without having a good press the whole drifting off center you know going with the 5 16 bit to start with so I just gradually work them up and then the hole will stay nice and center for you pop this guy in there fits in there good and tight so that should last a long time we'll Put some grease in there so it don't wear it out. So now I just got to figure out this other end. I'm going to find a bolt or something for that. Alright guys. 
Hey guys, well, I got that Z bar all welded up and painted. Look at it, it's all assembled. I did end up drilling this top part out and the clutch rod from the pedal drilled it out to 5 16 and put a nice grade 8 bolt through there. With, it has all the smooth, I cut it and kept the smooth where these uh, run on the bolt. And I put a nylon nut and then a, a nut on there and tighten them up so it's jam nutted. So that piece is all tight in there now. I did get a spring on it. Got a little bit of grease back there. So I just got to pump some grease in there with my grease gun. And I got clutch now. I've tried it out. It works pretty good. So that's killer to have done. The clutch all done. Look at that, I even got a Wix filter on there. So, that's a good job there, done too. Got me a filter. And I, I got a Mr. Gasket fuel pump. So I'll be putting that fuel pump on there. And I got a gasket for it. You gotta take this bolt out there and hold that rod up in there and put just a little bit of silicone on there just a little light coat on each side stick that gasket on there put the fuel pump on so I had a starter stock starter I tried to kick it over with a battery and I think it got left out in the rain from the guy I got it from so I went and got a, a power master starter ordered one of these guys from Speedway ultra torque starter so, got a brand new starter for it. It comes with a, with a shim and the new starter bolts. So that's good. You got some black Ultra Permatex gasket sealer. So I can put my intake manifold on. And I got a thermostat housing, a gasket for my thermostat. So maybe we'll try to get that on. And that drag link dry should be nice and dry now. I'll probably mess with that. So we'll see what else we get done. All right, guys. We'll be back in a minute. Hey, guys. We know who's 55 that is. Check it out. Leave in the comment if you know. So I got that new drag link on there. Got my front end all lined up close as I can so now I got inch strong of threads into my sleeve so that's the way it should be so I got the fuel pump on there I did get my intake manifold on my buddy Jim came over and helped me set it on there so I didn't mess up the gaskets got the ARP uh, 12 point bolts all in there and look at that I got oil been oiling my motor, got oil coming down every rocker arm coming up the push rods on that side. I got the drill in there, spinning it. Got the starter on, got the water pump on there for good. Got the gaskets in there, it's not good and tight. This side here, got oil coming all through. This was the last one, the oil. It's still pumping, so I'm gonna spin it a little bit more. So at least she's getting back together now. I'm going to put the front tires back on this thing and, and let her down and on the ground. Yeah, add some more parts to it. Get me a carburetor kit for that big holly that goes on there. I'd like to thank all the new subscribers. I appreciate all you guys. I'm up to over 900 now. Really cool. I was happy when I had 10. I thought I was stoked, but I appreciate all you guys. You guys take care. We'll get back to work on it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.